The station Dresden Neustadt is the second biggest station in the Saxon capital Dresden in Germany. It, together with a whole wagon load of props and networks, is my first asset update of this new year 2020. Hey guys, this is Titan. I've been working on this station for about 5 months now and I'm so happy to finally release all of it. Throughout the past weeks I already teased you with screenshots on various platforms and piece by piece published props and networks getting the hype started. And based on the reactions and messages I got, that seems to have worked. And now I hope you're pleased with this. As so many other cities, originally Dresden had not a central station, but four small terminus stations for all the different rail companies. Those were not connected and were a bigger problem than they were of use for the city's traffic. In the 1870s, finally planning started for a more holistic approach to the train's infrastructure, replacing the old terminus stations, building a bridge over the river and constructing a second big station on the other side of the river, the station Dresden-Neustadt, in a district with the same name. After only three years construction, this new station finally was serving the first trains. And right from the opening, 162 trains per day stopped at the station noticeable taking the load off of the main station. The station survived the bombing of the Second World War without any noteworthy damage and nowadays being freshly renovated it has served the city of Dresden ever since. The station itself consists of tracks and platforms 6 meters above street level and a representative station building underlining its importance. The station building has a strictly symmetrical design, its entrance hall being marked by two big portals and a glass pyramid protecting the glass ceiling underneath in a splendid Art Nouveau entrance hall. The station has four platforms covered by a big steel station roof, with a central arch covering the middle platforms and two side roofs the outer platforms. On the back of the stations are two transit tracks for freight traffic.
Historically, the station building housed ornate waiting rooms and royal state rooms at the far end. Nowadays, it houses shops for travelers' needs as well as offices of the DB. What I made for the game now, however, is not just the station and be done with it. For a start, I made the station in two different versions. There is a basic version that comes with vanilla style tracks and double station tracks between the platforms. Please note that both ETST and Bad Peanut single elevated station tracks are necessary here. And then there is also an advanced version that only has single station tracks rather made for both railway and this station. Due to the way the game works, I had to set the station tracks quite a bit apart here. The platforms definitely need to be extended and as I said, this is an advanced version. Next to these single plop versions, I also made both the station building and the platform hall modular and uploaded these as separate workshop items. With these modules you can basically make any shape of a station or, you know, thinking outside the box, maybe some depots, factory halls, town halls even. In preparation for the station, I already uploaded a set of DB style platform props, waiting rooms and signs of the original station and network retaining walls and platform extensions fitting the station so you can extend it to any form you want. The props, in different workshop items of course, allow you to build any not so dressed in station by simply not subscribing to signage or the DB props. Now I'd like to come to the technical side of things here. The station of course is a huge asset. Just the station building with its 4 sub buildings has 12,000 tries and shares a 4K texture map. I definitely recommend the usage of loading screen mod here. The platform hall and the substructure with the platforms reaches even 37,000 tries. Also sharing another 4K texture. This is just the amount of geometry that's needed for a model as detailed as this one. But I think as it's as big as a main station in-game you only need it once and it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I created a collection that includes all the dependency props, networks and props I made as well as the necessary and recommended mods for a functioning station in-game. I highly advise you to check this one out and read all the description as I will delete any questions indicating that this hasn't been done. With this all being said now, I hope you like this first big asset of mine for 2020. I hope you like this video and as always much more important the assets as well as I spent a brain worth of nerve cells in the process. Please leave a like and comment if you did so and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and liking the assets on Steam of course helps a lot and I would really appreciate this. Then I also have a Discord server and of course you can join there if you want to get in touch with me or others who follow my work. And if you really want to support me further you can do so on Patreon for small rewards like early access 
to assets or videos. Also a huge thanks of course to all the people who already support me on Patreon, you are amazing. If you're interested in more of my buildings here on the right side you can switch to my last asset and a playlist with all of my assets. Until then, see you in the next video, bye.